All right. <laughs> All right. We are now streaming on YouTube. Hey, everybody, welcome. Uh, this is uh, our uh, first attempt for going live on YouTube, so we will uh, see how all this goes. Uh, this is first, but uh, today we want to talk. Yeah, <laughs> I was hearing myself. That, see, look, technical difficulties, we all have them, but today we want to talk to you about the three steps for you guys getting paid on your agency proposal. Because look, we spend tons of time doing the proposal and uh, wouldn't you like to get paid for it as well as in, um, increase the chances of you winning the deal, getting the bigger deals. And, you know, Ian's been a good friend of mine for many, many years. I've seen his agency grow really significantly. And he has a really good blueprint um, that we want to talk to you about. So Ian, take it away, man. Yeah, at the end of this, we'll give you the shortcut, the ultimate way, because we are going to be teaching people directly how to do this. But one of the things I want to do is I'm going to tell you how you can do it yourself, if you want to do it yourself, because I've been doing this for years. And um, really about five, six years ago, we started moving over into, uh, into really in-depth getting paid for our proposal. And, and not only has this worked, and I've coached other agencies in doing this in one-on-one, -on -one, I've coached other businesses on doing this. Other, like I've coached attorneys on doing this. I've coached some other of businesses, but I really, from the agency standpoint, this will transform how you look at your agency. It'll transform your sales process. It will improve your authority, your clients. Your clients are going to like it better because you're not going to be doing hard sales into them. And you're not going to stay, stay up all night creating proposals, giving away your best ideas, and then getting ghosted. Because all that stuff has happened to me, and it's very frustrating. I mean, I've had those eight-hour proposals. And in fact, today, I saw someone going, hey, we're an advertising agency. We're going to teach you how to do a presentation. I'm like, those Mad Men presentations were ridiculous. You know, it's one thing if you're just selling someone else's advertising, but your copy, your SEO ideas, all that is proprietary. Um, but you do need to show your expertise to your client. So the, the big things is there's three steps that I'm going to talk to you about. And it's, you know, making sure your deliverables are clear, uh, making sure you work with your client and making sure um, that they feel completely comfortable. And it's a no brainer moving forward with it. So first of all, and, and we'll take questions at the very end. So if you guys have questions, type them out. Uh, I think I can see them. So, <laughs> we will see. <laughs> yeah. Um, at the very end too, we're going to talk to you about how we're teaching people. Uh, to do this live. Um, so no, step one, number one, you know, look at your current proposals. Inside of there, you're probably putting some strategy, but when you are writing it out, you're like, you're like, oh, I don't want to give this to them because, um, you know, it, it's, it's, I'm not sure if, if they're, if they didn't take this idea and run with it, right? So you're not giving them everything. Look at what you are giving them though. And make it very, very clear that what you could give them if they were paying you. Because what happens, look at what happens on the other end of once you get that proposal signed, you're probably having strategy sessions. You're doing a lot of work. Um, you're doing keyword research. You're doing you know keyword ideas if you're an SEO agency. You're doing video outlines and storyboards like us if you're a video agency. Um, you're doing website layouts and mock-ups if you're a website design agency. What parts of that can you, if you got paid, could you put into your strategy and make those deliverables super, super clear so that you're building value into your strategy. You're not just saying, hey, I'm going to do strategy. You have to have a strategy that's beyond your proposal, but it, it gives you clear deliverables, very clear deliverables. So it's physical. I mean, for us, you know, recording, the other one is recording it, giving them video, giving them follow-up. Um, giving them step-by-step -step instructions, make it as many of those deliverables that you can give them to make it uh, very clear so that they're getting something with the strategy. It's not, you're just telling a strategy. It's what am I getting? Is it documents? Is it, you know, for us, we have a whole storyboard blueprint that we create, um, but something that they can see. So that's the number one thing. Um, and Jason, is that clear to you uh, as far as making that clear? Oh yeah. Per crystal clear. 
Okay, so um, that's number one. You can't just be vague with this. You have to say, this is what I'm going to give you when I give you strategy. You can't just say, I'm going to, you're going to pay me money. I'm going to give you strategy. And you're going to give them a list of deliverables. And the more you can give them, the better. Um, additionally, if you build out courses later on, you can bonus those in with your strategy. Uh, and I'm going to talk about how that works actually in the third part. But second part of getting paid for your strategy is doing it with the client. So you've had some sort of brainstorming session. You probably have, after you launch, you have a brainstorm session uh, with the client, a marketing session. Move that to the beginning. Um, one of the things when we do the storybook blueprint is we walk through with our client and we're getting their words and their knowledge and we're spending a couple hours talking to them about their, their, their client. And what's really cool about this is they've, a lot of times they've never thought about their clients this way. You want to move them past an um, idea of, of what they're going to do with marketing. You don't want them thinking about marketing. You want them thinking about their clients in the strategy. Um, one of the things that when we build up the blueprint, the reason we call it a storyboard blueprint is because the, their customers are on a journey. And each of those journeys is a scene. And that's why we actually decide is because of the moments. So we're crafting each of those moments and cr crafting with them what that we would say and putting them into those moments. And what's really cool about this is, you know, not only is your client telling you, but when you're taking their words and you're putting that together and not just saying, here's the content you should create, but working together on that. Now, when you present that to them again, they're like, this is great. Why? Because it's partially their words. You're not just like, I'm going to write 20 blog posts and you're not just giving them the title of 20 blog posts. You're spending time with them and crafting it in their language and their verbiage. And that's one of the things I love about doing video um, is because we're showing them what they said. And they are experts. If you're working in a service-based industry, your clients are experts. They're a better expert than you are. It's just they've never known how to craft that for their customers. So working with the client closely in building the strategy and having, and having that strategy meeting is absolutely critical. It also gets you time um, that now that they're, you, they are your client, you know, it, it gives you time for, the, for them to build up a relationship with you. So now when you put the proposal of next steps, you, they, you already have a much stronger relationship. This is absolutely critical to build out your strategy with the client. Don't just go to the top of the mountain and come back with the, the, you know, the two tablets, here's your strategy, and, and don't make it a templated strategy because clients will see right through that. Yeah, you know, we, um, and, and it will separate you from everybody else. Right. We were, we were pitching a deal to Lotus cars. They had um, at the time they were wanting us to do a microsite. Sorry. I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> it's live. That's the live. Like I get snot all over the screen for you. <laughs> but, um, we were pitching a deal to Lotus cars. And so everybody was pitching. And so we wanted to change the conversation and we wanted to do a strategy session where we say, hey, look, we can do a microsite for you, but we want to make sure we're doing it the right way and that you actually need it. And let, let, wouldn't it be nice if we could kind of outline everything for you? And once we did that, we won that count and we became mm -hmm. the agency of record for Lotus Cars North America, yeah. where everybody else was trying to just get that website to get their foot in the door. I was like, hey, we're going to do something really small. We're going to work with you, kind of like you were just saying, Ian. And it it's a game changer. It is. And you make a really big point there too, is that, and that goes to my third point, is, is the way you made it a no-brainer for them is I, I also tell the clients, listen, why is this going to be a no-brainer to buy the strategy? Because I, I'm going to make the strategy so you could go take it to another agency, so you could find your in-house developer, you could do it yourself. And I do, I make it, I don't make it so, oh, you have to use our software or, oh, you have to use this system that only I know. I make sure that if they want to do it, that they can do it themselves. If you have a secret sauce that really isn't secret sauce, that it's you know something that everyone knows and you're trying to hide it, eventually that information is going to come out. If you're using a templated website and really that's all you're doing and you're building it in two hours, that secret's going to come out. But if your secret is the copy, well, that you get paid for that strategy. 
but you want to make it so that strategy, they can do it themselves if they want it or find someone else. And it's crystal clear on how they would do it, how the steps were that would happen. Because then they're also seeing the path forward with you. And, and, but when you tell them that and you genuinely do that, um, it, it makes it a no brainer for them because it's like, Hey, I can, you know, I can see what's going to happen really crystal clearly see what's going to happen on the other side of this 20, 50, hundred thousand dollar engagement for $2,000 for $3,000. The other thing I do that other people don't necessarily do, but I do is I guarantee it because I know that a 100% money back guarantee that you take this $3,000, I'll take $3,000 from you. If you don't like the strategy, you don't get to keep the strategy. You don't get to keep all this stuff. But if you think I and this is stupid, I and this isn't gonna work, I will give you your money back. Because if that's someone feels that way, I probably don't wanna work with them anyways. No. And it seg segments them out. But I've well, never had anyone do that because I give such an in-depth strategy that is tailored with them that they could do themselves, but they know that, hey, these people know me better than I do. And that's what I get every time when I'm done with that strategy is, wow, these people really understand me. And by, but I make it a no brainer for them on the front. It's like, hey, you can do this yourself. And I, or if it doesn't work, I'm going to give you a money back guarantee. And my $3,000 is a whole lot less than you're getting proposals from anyone else. Yeah. So, and, and it's all about how you position it, right? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, Ian's talking about the two scenarios, but really there's three scenarios, right? There's, yep. and, and you have to let them know, be like, look, here's the reason why we're doing this. This is the outcome that could possibly happen. There's three. One, you'll love the plan. You'll go execute it yourself. Like Ian was saying. So the second, you'll love the plan. You want us to do it, which is the most common. And then we can talk about the next step. And what, when you're in this process, you should be qualifying them for the next step anyway. Just who cares if they can afford the three thousand dollar foot in the door if they can't afford, you know, the hundred thousand or ten thousand or whatever it is after? And then the third, obviously, is like, hey, if you hate the plan, I give your money back. Now, unlike Ian, I'm not perfect. I actually had one person over the years actually ask for a refund, but uh, they didn't speak the language. They were Russian, so we had a Russian translator on the call, and I, who knows what they were saying back and forth. Um, so, like no one will ever really ask you for a refund. And like I was saying, it's a great eliminator to get rid of the people that are not serious. Um, and it, it makes it less risky. That's the whole reason why all of this works is it eliminates risk from people making the wrong decision. That's why it takes so long for people to make a decision because they're trying to calculate the risk. Yep, yep. And, they, and, and they're not clear what's gonna happen on their side. They're not clear about the strategy and you're putting all these deliverables in front of them and no one's going to say to you, oh, I don't, very few people are going to say, I don't understand what that thing is, but they, they don't. There's so many things on your deliverables and it, yes, you wrote this big, long, huge proposal and it's beautiful. You know how many people read those proposals? They all go skip to the deliverables page. So why not just you give them the strategy and then you give them the proposal and they're two separate things, but they work together. You're trying to put strategy and proposal in together. I've done that too. And it, it it's frustrating for you because you're trying to sell and give them strategy and then give them deliverables in one document. And it's frustrating for them because it's, it's so much all over the place and there's gobbledygook and gibberish. But when you do the strategy session and work through it but, and then reiterate it, it works every time. Um, it's so important to do it though, because you should not be giving away your proposals unless it's a very obvious, small deliverable, like here's X, Y, Z video. And it's, you know, it's a small little deliverable, but even then I don't really give away it without some sort of strategy. Awesome. And what's the third? But that was the third. Okay. So All right. Number one is just a recap. So number one is, um, is make sure you have a clear strategy with clear deliverables in your strategy. Uh, number two is to build it with the client, is, is build that strategy with the client um, so that they know that they're working together with you. And number three is when you propose it, make sure it's, it's a no brainer. And I do that with the money back guarantee. I do that by making sure that they can execute the strategy on their own. And I do it by, um, 
by showing other people that have worked through this process. So I do it for case stories as well. But the big two things is the money back guarantee and um, making sure that you, you know, that they could do it on their own. They know that they could do it on their own. But those are the big three. Um, you know, I've developed this system over years. There's a lot of little steps in between. There's a lot of nuance with it. But when you do this, you don't have to sell because you are giving them the clear strategy. But if you do it the right way with the right rhythm, you're not only gonna close these strategy sessions, get paid, but you're gonna close much bigger deals on the other side of it. And you're gonna also, that other aspect of the way we set these up is we're setting up the retainer afterwards. Because inevitably people always say to me, when I, after the strategy, they're like, that strategy's great. When can we get started? Exactly. And, and that's great. And I'm like, here's the proposal. They're like, awesome, let me make sure this is what I wanna do. I don't hard sell it at that moment. I know I could, um, but then inevitably they're like, well, what happens next? And that's why also in your strategy, you're doing stage two, stage three, you're setting up the next sale in your strategy as well. Yeah. Well, if, if all of you like this and, and you really want to discover the more in depth sales system that Ian was talking about, where you really clarify the sales process, so you're not giving away your best strategies for free, because look, at the end of the day, like I, I love that Don or um, Ian says, Don Draper was wrong, right? The free pitches devalue your expertise. And what we're going to do is we're going to dive deep into a live workshop. Now we're going to have it March 30th and 31st of this year in Atlanta. Now, if you can't go to Atlanta, perfectly fine. We're going to do it virtually as well. So we'll actually, we put a link in below. If you go to jasonswank.com slash foot in the door, you'll see the link in the bottom. It has all the details to reserve your seat. Now, this is only going to be for a select few. This is not a huge audience. Like literally, we're probably going to have like 10 to 15 agencies there. So it almost be like it's a little mastermind going through the process and really rolling our sleeves up and working through this. Because I've seen Ian close a, a huge amount of deals at conferences <laughs> for his agency. He's coached and worked with so many other agencies when we were doing a test and I'll let you in, in a second I and talk a little bit about that that had huge like literally like he, he walked a couple people through it testing all this out to be like hey can we teach this to other people and just crushed it um so why don't you tell us a little bit about that yeah I mean well we did the video agency to box and we're still teaching other people to sell video but I found that this part was the part that really people needed to do. And they, some people skipped over it and they didn't have as much success and they came back to it and they're like, you know, I, I would, I would coach them for on one quick call. They would go to a, a prospect and call me back, text me back 15 minutes later. Oh yeah. I clo close the strategy session. And then like, Oh, then I closed that deal. And then originally the, they, they closed the strategy session for more than the, the original deal was worth. And then they closed a bigger deal. Um, you know, I had someone close, you know, over half a million dollars for business using this, uh, you know, rise 25, who's on that page, it transformed how they sell. It transformed how they sell. Um, and they were great salespeople to begin with, but that's the other thing is it's not a sales process. It's just as much as it's a system for selling strategy. Um, and you don't have to be a great salesperson. And in fact, it's better if you're not. The other thing is it will work and you can fit it into, even if you're, doing strategy right now, this, I'm going to show you how we do our strategy and I've merged it with other people and it will fit in with almost anyone. And there's so much nuanced stuff, but also our strategy, uh, the way we think about a customer journey is completely different, I think, than anyone else. So even your strategy will improve too by going through this, not just selling the strategy, but the actual strategy and the execution for your clients. And then additionally, we're gonna talk about some ways that you can use this to start selling video without even having video in the house. So it's, but over and over we've, I've seen it work for people and people have pushed me and pushed me and then they do it and they're like, oh, man, I wish I had done this years ago. And it transformed their business. And, th and this is, this is going to go in way more depth than we actually cover with the foot in the door in the agency playbook. So a lot of you may be thinking, hey, I already got the agency playbook. You mentioned a little bit about the foot in the door in there. Yeah, we mentioned about this much in uh, the agency playbook. This goes into depth. This actually, Ian's going to give you all of the scripts that are working and just really so we can adapt it just so it eliminates a lot of the time that it's going to take in order for you to be successful and go execute this. So if you want to, you know, learn how to get paid on your proposals, 
you know, identify the perfect prospects before you go into engagement or really harness those wep weapons so you can really kind of start winning those perfect prospects, you know, fairly quickly and, uh, and really figure out those triggers and onboard clients seamlessly and just work with the right people because I've seen it work so many times. Um, and, and, you know, and I, and I, we put together kind of like a no brainer risk guarantee, which I, I, I never do. Like, if you always look at any of my programs, I always like put something at the bottom, like, Hey, if you have to ask about the refund policy, like you shouldn't even be here. Like go, go buy someone else's program because we put out thousands of videos and helpful stuff. If you haven't figured out our personalities or our content, you're never going to. But if you actually come to the event and you participate and you don't get the results, why don't you tell them a little bit, Ian? And yeah, I mean, my goal is that you will double. If you have any leads in the pipeline, you will double your return on investment within seven business days. Now, that's not the guarantee. Uh, you know, if you follow our methods, though, and 90 days later, you have not done it. Do we say money back guarantee, Jason? Yeah, we'll give them the money back. We'll give you your money back. I mean, you have to document this. You can't just say, oh, I did it. You have to send us the documentation, send us the emails. But if you do not double your investment in 90 days and you do everything I say, we'll give you your money back. I mean, that, I, you're going to 10x, 20x, 30x. You're, not only that, you're going to enjoy your business much more. You're enjoy the sales process much more. I tell you, I do. But I want to make a no brainer because I want to work directly with the people. I, I want to get into a workshop and work directly and show you how to do this um, so that we can serve more agencies and help them out. Because when you use this methodology, now am I going to help you grow your business, but I'm going to help you serve your clients better. No. So if you guys want to uh, learn a little bit more details of when it is, go to jasonswank.com slash foot in the door, all, all one word together, foot in the door. And, um, and we have all the details there when we're going to do the live workshop. If you can't make it to Atlanta to be with Ian and myself for those two days, no problem. We're going to be broadcasting it live as a virtual ticket. Um, so when you actually go in there, you'll be able to get your ticket that way as well. So uh, yeah, I uh, hope all of you really uh, enjoyed this. It opened your eyes to what's, uh, what's possible and what you guys need to be doing. And uh, yeah, we will uh, chat with you guys later. See you in Atlanta. All right. Let's see if I can shut it off. <laughs> All right, guys. Take care. All right. Uh, let's see. Here we go. End meeting. <laughs>